Welcome, welcome back to Connie's World. Share a like, turn your notifications so you want to see more videos as I roll with them. Share to the doctor and nurses, the nurse aides, the people who work on cars, the people who sell the cars. Share to your best friend, your so called friend, the ones who want to act like they want to be your friends or enter your, to be your friends. Share to all sorts of life. Pass this video, share it. Don't forget y'all, push that button, ding, ding, ding. And subscribe to Connie's World. You know something, just a quick, I always say a quick vlog, but this is in my spirit, in my heart to say. Social media could be a really big, big, big impact but it could be a good thing, and then sometimes it could be a bad thing. But the topic for me to talk about, it's good to have YouTube, you know, could you express your opinions about different things, or Instagram, or social media, but this we're gonna talk about is comment down below, leave a comment to my channel and tell me what you think. So we're going to start the topic for today is about the, what y'all think about the, the coronavirus? What y'all think about the disease doctors, what they're saying? Like I said, if you know the Bible, the Bible tells you was going to come on the earth, like in India. It, like in India is, the coronavirus is wrapping, is taking over that city. In the regional, they were fighting, bombing, killing one another. Okay, y'all, y'all know. If y'all know the Bible, all these things is in the Bible. In different countries, it will be, People will be fighting wars. Wars will take on, not just over there, but in all over the continent. Read your Bibles. If you walked away from the Lord, doubt the Lord, forgot about him, come back to him. Because it's not the time to doubt him. It's no time to walk away. It's no time to get up on the Lord. Because we live in a time where a lot of people, some people don't take the Lord serious because they feel as though, because they might have lost someone with the coronavirus. They might have lost somebody with, you know, cancer. They might have lost somebody, kidney failure. You know, somebody might have sat there and lost someone who, they might have lost someone on the streets or some kind of sickness. And a lot of people out there, they get offended with the Lord. They get upset with the Lord. And can I say that, Lord, you said, if we pray to you, you will answer. But this is the thing with how God do. Wherever we go through, if somebody broke our hearts, if we lost a loved one, a mother and father, a sister and brother, a, a, one of your children, niece and nephew, sister and brother, grandmother, grandfather, father, like I said, we have a tendency to have a rage with the Lord and we walk away. Because people say, God is God, and why is he not answering? But y'all know the Lord said he never leave you forsake you. And like I said, the Lord, he never leave you. He never forsake you. And that's like the doctors always, because this is what they're saying right now. They're talking like we are science projects in a science fiction movie. They putting out the wrong, the wrong um, words. They put out the wrong, the wrong words they say, and and just blossom them all over the world. They, they, what I'm saying, blossom all over the world like flowers. When they say, when you take the two, you know, shots. You are being protected. You are able to sit there and go out 
indoors off the mask, outdoors off the mask. But the people that took the one shot, they more selected to do the same is the people who were vaccinated. And now we in, it's been biased. Comment down below and tell me what y'all think of all, if y'all feel the same way, what I feel. Because we already said to start off, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Because like I said, what is gonna happen? I'm not gonna say the virus is not real, but if you know that Bible, it says it. They call the, the virus, I'm calling the plague, because that's what it's called in the Bible. If you know that Bible, again, you will know what will come. I was raised, me and my sister and brother, we were raised. One day will come where famines, famines will come on the earth, where you got to sit there, you know, put your food together, get your canned goods together, get your water together, boil your water, all the things. Intervene Satan. And when I say intervene Satan, because when you talk in the existence of, because the devil can't no way in shape or form be powerful in the Lord. And when I say that, intervene Satan is blocking him out of me talking to my father. Jesus Christ and his father, God. God has called many names. So we got different culture, we got Muslim, we got, we got different, you know, we got Muslim, we got you know, Buddha, we have, you know, what else we have? We have all type of things. You know, we have, what do we have? We have Buddha, we have Muslim, Catholic, a witness. We have a lot of different people when they speak of the of existence about the Lord. Like the Lord have different names and they call them different names, different ones that they said. Like they say Ali, um, Jehovah, you know. The Lord got many names. He's all one. And like I said, you know, you know, it's causing a lot of controversy, a controversy with the people as long as like they were one right one shot against the people with two shots. Comment down below and leave on my channel. Do y'all feel the same way? Say it was coming together as one with this virus. It's a lot of dividing. You got people, you know, talking about the fact that when it's the ones with the two shots, they were going to die at the ones who got one. And you got to remember when they first started off, it was, they was talking about Johnson & Johnson. Yes, it was blood clots and things of that nature. And we would never know how far it's going because they're not going to put out and say what the, what the shots are doing. I'm not saying don't take it. I'm just speaking my opinion. I'm going by what my belief What's in the Bible? What have happened? What would y'all? What are the people out there? What y'all gonna do if y'all get the, the shot? The, get the, the, the shot anyway. Make it. Excuse me. You get the virus anyway. Everybody look for hope. Everybody would want us to see their loved ones. But sometimes, like I said, you know what you know. I'm going by what I know about what is said in the Bible. What you gonna do when the things really get real? When the virus really the famous and all the things and the plague really takes over the world. Get ready, get ready. Because it's just the beginning. And I'm not telling nobody just be wanting people to be scared. You know, some people won't be scared. Some people won't be surprised. Some people believe what that Bible what it's saying. But just being biased, biased with this, you know, who shot and who can do this and who can do that because they fully, you know, got the vaccination. It's not right. 
comment and share this video and leave a comment. And like I said again, all the ones walked away, walked away from the Lord, taught the Lord. But any reasons why, or I just said, come back to him. Because I don't want y'all to be left behind. When the Son of God come and straighten this world back out again. So on that note, like I always say, take sick on the streets, be kind to one another. When you see someone out on the street, homeless, or might not be looking at best, go to them with covered encouragement words. Because diabetes is real. Schizophrenic is real. Heart failure. Heart failure. Cancer is real. Blood disease is real. All of it, I just said. I said heart failure. After all the things are real of this world, it is not being made up. This is real. Do you know, y'all, depression always been here. Mental health is been real. When they talk about it, you know, mental health, it always been there. It just been more talked about more today. They never, it just didn't come on, this came upon. They just more talking about it, putting it out there in the forefront. Depression always been there. Do you realize these kids is 10, 11, 12, 14 years old? It's not just attacking this uh, adults. It's not just attacking the kids who are 18 or 19 or 20 or in their 30s, just attacking the kids younger. So when anybody say they don't see it, depression come all different types of ways. And when you see it, don't give up on that person. Yes, it might be tiring, tiring and days. Tiring and days. Tiring and days. But the one is the key can help you through it with your children or whoever you, you, you can't seem to get a grasp or get control over what's why he's battling, you know, schizophrenic or depression. The depression is real. Grief is real. And I, like I said, again, it could be tiresome because we lose the people left and right. And like I said, come back to the Lord again. He sit high and he sit low and he know what's going on in the world. I don't know, I can't tell you when, what's coming. But it's coming. And I'm not going to tell nobody what they should do, what they should not do. But study, is too much going on in the world. India, with the plague. Jerusalem is vomit over there. This is all the stuff in the Bible, but it'll go all into not only just into the other country, it's gonna spread all over the continent. So the people out there, when it comes to this virus, we all should be all one, one and all one together. Come when this stuff is over and done with. We're going to need one another because it's not over, no matter what the, the disease doctor talk about. Because it's what they are is disease doctors, they not regular doctors. I commend them of dealing with the, the different areas of platocytes and, and how they could put their minds together and deal with different, you know, animals. You know, sorry, the animals got to be picked on, whatever can they be, to help us, you know, but they have to do what they have to do. But then they gotta be careful with the animals they mess with. Cause you never know the animal might be, you know, sick or something. But that's a chance they take. 
That's my opinion. I salute what they do. But the same time, like I would say this again. All the ones we in this stuff, we in this situation. It's just now no, no one side or two sides. We all together in this situation is happening right now with this virus. I don't want to say jump at your parents on because I'm tired of hearing that one. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Just keeping it real with y'all. And like I said, again, when you see someone, go to them with some courage and words. Don't judge them because they're homeless. Because they're people too. They might be dealing with mental health. Get each and every one person you see out there in the state of California or anywhere where there's property for homeless people. Each and every one, if I could sit there and do and talk to everyone out there, I would. But it'd take a lot of time. But everybody out there it was homeless, everybody got a story. But don't forget about them. And y'all disease out talking, y'all talking about where everybody get their shots. Check them too. Not just get them out off the streets. Check them. Cause that's the best thing I can sit there and do. Don't forget about them. And I'm going back what I just said. Don't judge a homeless person the way they look. Don't judge somebody because they might not look their best or sit on a footstool. Go to them with courage, courage, courage words. Because that person you'd be talking to, that homeless person, or that person sitting on the footstool, might be looking down. They might be thinking about taking their lives. They might be thinking about committing suicide. Because the pressure can get so deep. There are people sitting in them tents, people all over the world. A lot of people out there with our children and the people out there to be going through something too. Know that. Buy them a sandwich, some water, some coffee, and give them a couple of dollars of your choice. No, you can always be talking to somebody over the ledge. Over the ledge is that day you could talk them from not taking their lives. That day you could be sort of changing their thoughts. What are they thinking at that time? Because you did it or you did it. Because you took the time out to talk to that person. So on that note, again, Welcome, welcome back to Kanye's World. Stay safe on the streets and be kind to one another. And like my mother used to always say, when you walk from the, when you walk past the first person, don't walk away from the second. Cause you could be what? You could be engaging with who? Um, angel. And you know what? God bless y'all to the east, south, and west. Until next time. Peace.